New benchmark number reveals that AMD's upcoming 9800X 3D is shaping up to be way more crazier than we first thought. After the utter failure of Ryzen 9000 series CPUs, AMD is in high gear to take on the gaming throne again with their 9000X 3D CPUs. While Intel is not just sitting still, they are also planning to retake the gaming throne. There are many leaks and rumors are coming out now about these new X. 3D CPUs, but many people have failed to notice that AMD has already hinted that what will be these X3D CPUs way before any leaks and rumors. At CES this year, while talking to PC Gamer, AMD's senior technical marketing manager have said, the X3D stuff, we have a lot to say about it. The best part about it is we are not resting on laurels. We are improving what can we do with X3D. It's really exciting and I am super looking forward to talking to people about that. It's not like, hey, we have also added X3D to a chair. We are working actively on a really cool differentiators to make it even better. We are working on X3D, we are improving. It. Recent leaks from Chip Hell also indicates that AMD is seriously working on something new with these X3D CPUs, especially with their higher core count part. And what new things? Well, we will talk about that in the later part of the video. The leak also indicates that the 9800X3D which is going to be the successor of highly popular 7800X3D going to launch in this month of October and we are talking about in just few days and it might have been already released while you are watching this video. But the question is, will this new 9800X3D be able to become the new gaming champ? Well, Moore's Law is that recently leaked a marketing material or a slide about this new CPU and according to that, AMD is claiming ultimate processor for elite gaming. Now, you shouldn't trust on any marketing material until and unless those are confirmed by independent reviewers. For that, we have to wait for its launch. But as I said at the starting of the video, we have some benchmark numbers. The numbers are coming from Code Commando, who has a very short but proven track record. Earlier this year, the leaker leaked the complete marketing material and slide for Ryzen 9000 series CPUs just before its launch, which evidently were true and now we have some Cinebench benchmark numbers from the leaker. Yes, I know, X3D synthetic numbers doesn't really match up with its gaming performance. But if we compare it with its last generation numbers, then it should give us an idea of what to expect from these new CPUs. And we can expect 10% faster single core performance and 17% faster multi-core performance from Ryzen 9 9950X3D compared to 7950X3D, while the 9800X3D is going to be 20% faster in single core and 28% faster in multi-core if we compare it with current Gaming King 7800X3D. But hey, this is the kind of performance improvement we should expect from every single generation. But what's the new thing that everybody is talking about? AMD might be giving each CCD its own 3D VCAT. And a new report from Benchlife.info claims that the higher core count 9950X3D and 9900X3D will implement 3D VCAT on both CCD chiplets. Giving these processors an impressive 192 megabytes of L3 cache, 96 gigabytes for each CCD. And combining L2 and L3, we are looking at either 208 or 204 megabytes of cache. So now you tell me, that doesn't sound crazy. And this could help these higher core count X3D parts. Most people don't buy 12 core or 16 core CPU just to game on. Most probably they do other CPU intensive tasks on their system. And right now, the situation of Windows and its core parking, isn't really that optimal and each CCD having its own cache could help in that situation. Also, the report claims that AMD might be working on a lower end 6 core 9600X 3D CPU to take on Intel's i5. The recently released 7600X3D failed because it was a little slower than Intel's i5-14600K. Also, it was very exclusive and available in just few select stores. Also, earlier this year, we got some reports that these new X3D CPUs will come with full overclocking support and I'm talking about manual core clock tuning. Now, overclocking CPUs now have become just a hobby because overclocking CPU doesn't really improves the performance by a 
huge margin but who knows how these x3d cpus will react with the core clock overclocking all in all the new 9800 x3d is coming this month of october and the higher core count skews the 9950 x3d and 9900 x3d will come at q1 of 2025 and would amd launch a six core 9600 x3d that is not confirmed but what is confirmed is you liking my video because you watched this far and if you didn't like it feel free to dislike and let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about these new upcoming x3d cpus and if you want to watch more videos from us check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe which i highly appreciate if you do that well do it by here and this is akash and i will see you guys in the next one peace